Seminole Sports Magazine is brought to you by Coca-Cola Zero. Real Coke taste and zero calories. She was a multi-sport athlete that was a prospect ever since she was in high school. She was the incoming freshman that never sat out a game. She was the soccer recruit that led the Knolls to the College Cup the past three years. Kristen Grubka, the girl who makes it all go for Seminole soccer. Carly Hellstrom with Seminole Sports Magazine tells us more. The success of the women's soccer team can be credited to the blood, sweat, and tears the FSU seniors have put in the past three years. But how different would the team be without senior starter, Kristen Grubka? Well, you know, she was um, um, a, a very big talent. Athletically, she's gifted in so many different ways. Um, but I'm not sure she had fully committed to being the best soccer player she could uh, become. And, you know, she was uh, a three-sport star. She had all kinds of uh, uh, other interests uh, coming in the door. And uh, I think there was even question at some point whether she was even interested in playing soccer in college. Actually, it was between UCF and FSU, and I was so close to committing to UCF. And my club coach was like, I think you really need to go up and visit FSU. And I came up here and instantly fell in love with it, and I don't regret my decisions ever since. What's there to regret? Grubka has helped the Knolls to the College Cup the past three years, but coming up short has only strengthened her desire to get there again. And she uh, went in and did just a fantastic job and helped lead us to the Final Four, and uh, uh, over the course of her time, she's developed into probably the best center back in the country right now. She's just a great leader. She brings so much laughter to the team. Um, she brings kind of like an awkward, we like to say within the team, um, personality, but like every, every team has one and she brings that and it's just, she's awesome. Everyone just takes leadership roles on their own and steps up when we need them to step up and not everyone has to step up at the same time, but different players like rise to the occasion when they're needed. The women's soccer team has given plenty of teams the boot, but the ultimate goal is a national championship going to the College Cup three times and experiencing it and reaching the final game last year. It's, it was just in grasp, so definitely being able to hold up that trophy and wearing the hats and t-shirts and celebrating with my teammates. Not only is she a scholar athlete, starter and backbone to this impressive team, but her teammates say Grubbs is a better person than she is a player. We can do just about anything. She always invites me to go tanning, but I never go. And she sometimes just shows up at my house. And <laughs> she used to do that. She doesn't do it anymore. The joke around the team with her is that she always is here very early in the morning studying and stuff. And we all like kind of make jokes about it. But actually looking at it, like it definitely makes me understand that like yeah like I need to get that stuff done I need to get my academics just as good as she is and continue that path down the road as well. There's no question that the dynamic of the team will change without the presence of the fourth year starter. Although reality hasn't sunk in, her last game will be approaching soon. I'm not sure there's going to be anyone that's going to walk in the door here that's going to be able to fill Grubka's shoes but with, with Grubka's physical presence, her ability in the air, her willingness to tackle and uh, her ability to have physical play. I'm not sure there are a whole lot of kids in the world that uh, are going to come out of high school that have those uh, attributes. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, find another way and uh, find some different uh, combinations of talents to be able to make up for what we're going to lose, but we're going to lose a special one. It kind of started back when we lost in the national championship and realized it kind of hit me that like 
after from that point on, like everything's going to be my last, my last spring, my last preseason, my last season. And at this point, it hasn't really hit me yet that it's going to be my last season, and I think it will all come in all at once. Grebka has big plans after graduation, and she isn't quite ready to say goodbye to soccer just yet. I ultimately decided that I don't want to have any regrets, and I want to do it while I can, still can, and like my body allows me to, so I do plan on entering my name into the draft and trying the professional. She's come in, she worked hard uh, from the day she's arrived on campus, and she's gonna walk out of here as a, a proud graduate, and uh, she'll go and be a very good pro somewhere. The FSU soccer team is well on their way to yet another college cup. With the national championship in mind, Kristen Grubka and the rest of her team have no plans to finish second this year. I'm Carly Hellstrom for Seminole Sports Magazine. This year, more than ever, the women of FSU soccer have their goals set high. Come out and support them as they make their bid for the national championship title. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brooke Schaefer, and we'll see you next week on Seminole Sports Magazine.